free private AI chat system on your Linux computer. This assumes you have a video card. I'm using RTX 3080. This installation will be done in three steps. It's install Docker, install NVIDIA for Docker, then install Olama with the open web UI. This is a shell script that was contributed by one of our viewers that will install Docker, NVIDIA, Olama, and the open web UI all in one shot. It's a shell script, so you can stick it in your shell and run it. There's a link to this in the description. I'll also be going over the instructions to install all this manually, so you'll have the option of doing it either way. I'll start off with installing Docker using the instructions from this page on their website. I'll have a link to this in the description. Open terminal. First thing it wants us to put in is sudo apt get update. Now it looks like it wants us to install a certificate, so we'll go ahead and do that. Next thing is to set permissions. Now the next step looks like we have to install a key. We'll go ahead and set permissions again. And it looks like we have a multi-line command right here. This is gonna add the repository that has the Docker. Looks like at the end of that list of commands, it also did another apt-get update. So now that the repository is set up, we can go ahead and actually install Docker. So we're going to copy that into the clipboard, paste it in here. Now I'll run the Hello World program in Docker just to make sure that Docker is up and running. All right, looks like Docker's working. The next thing we have to install is NVIDIA for Docker. This also has its own repository. I'll have a link to this page in the description so you can copy and paste from here. Here we have to run sudo apt-get update once more. And now we can go ahead and copy the command to install the NVIDIA container. Looks like that's all set. And the next step is to install this NVIDIA Docker 2 package. We then have to restart Docker. This is the page for the open web UI. I'll have a link to this in the description. If we scroll down, there's an installation section and we're gonna do the one where it says installing open web UI with bundled Olama support. I'll copy this command. We'll go back over to the terminal. For my testing, I had to actually run this as sudo. And now it's going to install a llama with the web UI. Once that's installed, you open up your web browser and go to 127.0.0.1 on port 3000. And there's your open web UI. It's going to ask you to create an account. This is a local, not over the internet. So you go to sign up, enter your name, your email address, and pick a password. If you're going to have multiple users, you would have them sign up here. Once you're signed in and ready to go, you can move your web browser from another tab over to olama.com and click on models. You can type the name of any model from here that you want into the open web UI. So let's say for example, I wanted Dolphin Llama 3. I can go over to the open web UI, click settings, go over to model, where it says pull a model from Llama.com. I can type in Dolphin dash Llama 3, just exactly as you see it on the name in the list. Click the download button. It'll start to download it and we'll show you the progress. All right, that download is finished. Once it's all set, you can close out this window. Under select a model right here, you pull this down. It'll show all the models that you have installed. Click that, because that's the only one we have for right now. And we can start chatting with it. Thanks for watching. After this, you would please check out my video about how to use Dolphin Llama 3 and some testing that I did with it. I appreciate if you like and subscribe. I'll be doing this on a regular basis, showing you how to run your own private open source AI systems in Linux. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.